Yeah, I'm uh, Les Machen. I work for uh, BMD Constructions. Uh, I'm a safety officer here on uh, on the Horton River Upgrade project. Um, we're here about 50k south of Townsville, in a little place called Guru, right at the bottom of Mount Surround. Yeah, the project is just shy of 15 kilometres of roadworks. Um, it's a floodplain upgrade, so we're trying to minimise closure time during major flooding that we have here in North Queensland. The wet seasons are really quite severe, get a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. Now, that has a huge effect on what it means for the people building the, the, the road. Uh, we have to do a whole lot of reworks, which can be really taxing on the workforce. You get in, you build something, two days later it's a metre underwater, you've got to come back and do it again. So that has a huge effect. But one of the biggest issues that we have up here is with our subcontract crew. Uh, if, if you're not working, you're not getting paid. So we have a lot of very unexpected long uh, breaks for our subcontractors, um, simply because it's too wet to get in and out, and that's without notice. One of the, one of the things that we find on a job of this size is we, we've had it, we've topped out at about 270 people on site at any one time, so you have a massive cross section. So it's important that everyone is uh, aware of their mates around them. Construction, you work in very close quarters, so your best port of call is the guy standing beside you or the person standing beside you. You may not even know you've got an issue, but sometimes a bit of a conversation will pull it out of a, out of a person that, hang on mate, how about we just have a chat about this? It's easy to tell when someone's uh, a little bit fried when you stand beside them all day. Yeah, it's not just about suicide prevention, it's about an overall health of the worker and the more we can encourage that, uh, the better off everyone is. And especially with young men, chock full of testosterone, don't think it's uh, the right thing to do. We're changing those, uh, we're changing those norms. The culture of uh, she'll be right, man up, it really is starting to uh, dissipate from the industry and it's a good thing and mates in construction is part of that process.